Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SA Accounting Academy. Uh, here's a short clip on one of our previous webinars. I hope that you really do enjoy it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So a warm welcome to you on a rather chilly morning. I believe there's another cold front on its way. My name is Leti Janse van Vieren and I will be your facilitator for the next two hours. Our webinar topic for today is SICA's Frequently Asked Questions on the Companies Act. Uh, it's a document that was issued by SICA on the 31st of May this year. So it is uh, sort of hot off the presses. However, it is, um, I know if you, if you get something like this in the mail, it's something that you sort of, uh, you know, you keep in your drawer for, for one day or for in case, because you think that you're going to get to it, and you're going to go and read through it. Believe me, when I prepared for this webinar, I went through it in detail, and you won't believe how many detailed things there are that you don't really think about. What I like about this frequently asked document is it's one spot where they've pulled everything together on certain topics. Previously, they had a, sort of a, a mishmash of a couple of different FAQ documents, so um, this one really is nice. And they updated it as at the 31st of May when they, when they reissued it. So if you, if you worry about what's not been included in it, it would only be things that were issued after the 31st of May. So we really have like only a month and what not to worry about, in which I went to go and check and nothing did change. All right. So that is our webinar topic. And... That is my webinar host marketing blurb. So that's me. That's everything about myself and uh, who I am and what I do. I do recognize quite a couple of names. So there are a couple of new ones. So welcome to you guys as well. If you haven't been to my webinars before. Right. This is what I do. I do webinar, uh, do research and then uh, hosting. I present the webinar and then I also do uh, mainly responsible for the MCLU, which is our monthly compliance and legislation updates. Right. So let's go and have a look at what's on the agenda. On the agenda, you'll find we're going to start off with an introduction and we're going to look at the latest it's a PSYCA document on the FAQs on the Companies Act. And then we're going to go into detail on the 25 frequently asked questions. One is on, on the, um, the six topics that they've given us. Application of the owner managed exemption. Then filing of audited annual financial statements. Disclosure of directors and prescribed officers remuneration. Legal practitioners, auditor rotation and auditor appointment. And then lastly, I'll just do a quick little summary. Right. As you know, I always have quotes on my webinars, and the first one I found on, on asking questions is from, from Tony Robbins, who's a motivational speaker, and he says that successful people ask better questions, and as a result, they get better answers. So I think it's just about also asking the right people the right questions, right? So if you, if you ask the wrong people, you're not going to get the answer that you, that you really need. My favorite brainy quote is from my favorite chef of all time, Anne Burrell. And she says that part of being successful is about asking questions and then listening to the answers. Because a lot of times we're so busy asking questions that we don't take the time to really listen to the, to the answers when they are being explained. Okay. And I find that's a, maybe a, a, an ailment of our times because we're all trying to multitask and keep at least three balls at the, in the air at all time. All right. Some of the abbreviations that you'll see today are SICA. We know what that stands for. South African Institute of Chartered Accountants. SIPC. And then FAQs. All right. Um, it's not something that you can say as an acronym like, like SICA. You can say you don't have to say S-A-I-C-A. But FAQs, if you put make that one word and you call it far cues you've got to say that very slowly right so i've gotten into the habit of of not doing that and just saying faqs right 
quite right, Renee. So often people are too busy winning the argument in their heads that they don't listen or they, they've made up their minds and they don't really want to hear an answer. They want confirmation that whatever they were thinking is correct. So um, I know when, when I do consultation for, for auditing firms and they send me technical questions, they want me, they want my opinion or they want me to, to say, you know, what they, how they should resolve it and what actions they should take. I'm always careful to be very, very complete. And I always say to them, I can give you my quick gut feel as a yes or a no, but then I will go back and say, well, I found this document and I found this to back me up and this to back me up. Right. Okay. So let's get stuck into our introduction then. This is what the front page looks like. I'll show you the document in a minute when we work through it. But I wanted to start off with why should you know about this document? Whether you are an auditor, an accountant, or independent reviewer, you must have an excellent working knowledge of the Companies Act. All right, because we, we're busy with companies, we're busy with CCs, and the CCs are also now brought in, uh, also, uh, the Companies Act is also applicable to you to CCs now. So it is very important. And they released this document, as I said, to provide guidance originally to address issues that were raised by their members and associates. But I find that this document really can benefit everybody with similar issues or questions. And, and I think that's what today is all about. The webinar will really provide you with a, a small overview. And that's what I'm busy with now. We'll look at the supporting material and then we go into some recent FAQs that have been added and we'll really go into detail on a couple of them. All right. So that's what I wanted to, to do there. Included in this FAQ document are three FAQ documents that were previously released by SICA. These three are now included in here. There's the one on the director's remuneration is included in there. The one on filing of the audited annual financial statements. And then the application of the owner managed exemption. Right. So they were released on various dates. And the owner managed exemption one was updated in, in uh, September. Just a bit later. But all of those have been updated on the 31st of May, and it's now included in this FAQ document. All right. I did want to just say to you, this doc I showed you this document already, the Companies Act, the Psychers Company Companies Act Guide, which was issued in April. It's not included in this AFQ, but there's a link. There's a hyperlink to it, and I have already downloaded it for you it's available as a as a bonus document right if you look at what's not included in this faq there are other publications where they ask questions and this is one that was a joint collaboration between psyca and erba in terms of updated guidance and faqs on section 90 subsection 2 of the companies act Remember, that's the one where it prohibits you from, and when you are the auditor, from providing non-audit services, non-assurance services to your client. And it asks questions because obviously there are exceptions to every rule. And we know that we are good at finding loopholes in the law and in legislation and in acts. And that's what interpretation is all about. Okay. These are the, are the documents that you'll find that were available or refer to as hyperlinks in your frequently asked, uh, frequently asked Questions document. There are seven of them. The one is the Summary of Psyche and Subsea Interpretation of the Companies Act, Section 30, not 302, but Section 30, brackets 2, subsection 2. Okay. The Psyche Communication of the Subsea Notice 30 of 2020, Withdrawal of, of Subsea's Non-Binding Opinion, the Psychers Companies Act, um, and I did release it at the end here again to tell you about it. And then there's notice two of 2022. Right. There are two other documents 
There was another SIPSI notice, number 52 of 2018. It's quite old, so I didn't put it on this list, but it is available to you. Right. And all I did say is refer to the source and the bonus documents there. I hope that you enjoyed that video. For more of our webinar videos, go to www.accountingacademy.co.za. Thank you and have a lovely day.